it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess Today. How are you doing? Well, this is an interesting video. This is going to be part of my about my uh, Mally vlogs, my Mally uh, webcam. What do I call it? My Mally cam. So, um, yeah, so I was gifted this product from um, Petitech or Petitech, and it's called the Handily 2 Pet Dryer. And so they wanted me to do a demo of it for you online. And I'm going, I'm doing that. But first off, I just want to unbox it for you and um, tell you a little bit about it. And then we're going to actually use it on Mally and see how she likes it. And trust me, she really needs a bath. So I'm happy to have this. So um, let's check it out together and see how we like this. And if you like it, there is a coupon code and I'll put it down in the description box along with a link to the website and the coupon code is make a mess 10. I'm assuming you'll get $10 off. So yeah, so let's check this out. So let me tell you a little bit about this um, pet dryer. The first, well, first off, let's get it unwrapped here and see what's going on. Um, it's supposed to be more relaxing. It's supposed to be hands-free. So as your, um, as your, um, there it is. It's called the Handily 2 pet hair grooming dryer. It's supposed to be hands-free and um, uh, it's so you can brush and dry your dog at the same time, kind of fluff your dog up, dog up. It reduces drying time and it has a flexible hose and it's a lot less noisy than a regular hair dryer. Now, I've only used the hair dryer on Mally a few times and boy, she did not like it. So, um, it's, see, it's Petty Tech. See right there, Petty Tech. And it's a little pause underscore petty tech, or um, it's a little score or little pause at pettytech.com. And again, I will put the link down below. So this is the Handily Pet Hair Groomer 8 LPH03. And they told me a couple of things about the dryer that they wanted me to share with you. This is what it looks like. It's like, this is the real deal, you guys. This is the real deal. This is a real cool thing. So it's got the products instructions and I'll go through all that and I'll, and I'll, and, I'll, um, and uh, look at that. That is so cool. Anyway, I'll go through all that. Uh, when, look at the little puppy can be sitting in their bed while the, they're finishing drying and while you're brushing its coat. I mean, this thing is just, this is the, this is the real deal. So let's take it out of the box and take a look at it. And then, um, we will um, get it all set up. I'm going to give uh, Mally a bath. Now, Lauren will help me give her a bath. And um, we will put this now. I don't normally, uh, I wouldn't normally um, dry her in the kitchen, but I think that's going to be the best place to do it. This is kind of small and compact, very lightweight. So a couple of the things they said, and I'll just I'll probably reiterate it a couple of times, is the first 10 seconds the air stays cold because the, a unit needs to warm up. And then they said when you turn the dryer off, uh, not to worry that it doesn't stop immediately because the, it needs to cool down. So remember that if you buy one of these, when you first turn it on, um, it stays cool and then it warms up. And when you turn it off, it doesn't turn off right away because it needs to cool down. So that makes complete sense. Look at this. It's really nice. Oh, it's got, it's, oh, so you can select things are high, medium, and low. It's got, oh, it's time. It's got a timer for, what is this? Units of time is a minute. So it's 15, 30, 60, 90, 100. Wow, it's got a timer start. So how easy is that? So you can select how hot, you know, low, medium, or high. That's your thermostat and heat. And then how long you want it to run in minutes. Wow. And that goes 240 minutes. That's a long time in start and stop or stop and start. So, wow. How it has got a little carry handle here that makes it very handy. Oh, wow. This is the real deal. I am so impressed. I'm impressed that it's not um, heavy, heavier than I thought it would be. Okay. So, it's called the Handily Dash 2, 750 watts, 110 voltage. Uh, waterproof level so there's a waterproof level so look here so then I guess this is where the hose would go 
making sure I don't have anything else that I'm supposed to do up here. I don't think so. Like, it's like two pieces, you guys. How easy is that? So here's the hose. I can't wait to give her a bath now. I'm, when I've actually been really nervous about giving her a bath, this makes me excited about giving her a bath. Because she loves the bath part. It's the drying part that she really, really, really hates. So I just want to make sure I put it in the right. Oh, and there's this. So this must just go in here like so. You know, let me make sure I'm doing it right though. To, that This holds the hose. So, yeah, let's make sure. Yeah, this can't be too hard. Just like so, voila, just like that, just like so. So that, see now, you stick that in there and so the hose can be flexed up, down, around, whatever. And this is the top, okay. I don't even really need this to tell me what to do. Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out which side goes in. the um, Cause this side has a, like a honeycomb and this side does not. I'm assuming the honeycomb goes in here cause there's, there's honeycombs in here too, but I'm gonna make sure I read it right. I'll do it right. Mm -mm -mm. Prior configuration. So it shows here, it shows a picture with the honeycombs out. So, and this, this part has the screw. So that doesn't, that didn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. Just, just, uh, uh, just, uh, just me <laughs> overthinking it. And then look at this. And then this pulls out. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so cool. Wowzer. Look at that. And look at you guys. Look at this. That is so freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. So look. So look at that. Okay, so, oh, I was gonna say, how do you turn this on? I mean, is there a plug? Is there a plug anywhere? Or is it, or is there, or is it battery operated? I don't get that part yet. Keep the voltage. Keep the power. Oh, power's already here. See, all you have to do is like, you read the instructions, Dawn. So the power, is in here somewhere. You guys, this, they, this is impressive. Like seriously impressive, right? I'm so impressed right now. Okay, so put this in here like that. No, no, like this. And then pop that back in there like so. There you go. And here's the power. I mean, <laughs> I'm in love. All right, so let me stop it right here because I'm just, I'm gushing and I'm, I can't wait to use this thing. I mean, this is neat. I mean, this is seriously, this is the real deal, you guys. I cannot wait to see how Mally loves it. Okay, so we will be back after, after all that and you will see it in action. All right, thanks guys. Be right back. Hi guys, we are back. It's another day and Mally, as you can see, has just had a bath. And I decided to voice over this video because when I was trying to film, I was, you know, it's stressful when you're trying to blow dry a dog with a human hair dryer. She doesn't like it at all. And I just wanted to show you the difference between the two. And this one, there's nothing I could do to get her to, like, relax. I didn't give her a treat, but I still don't think that would have worked um, with this blow dryer. Oh, let me preface this by saying I'm so sorry I look like hell because... It's 8.15 in the morning, as you can see by the clock behind me, and I was not ready to um, do this. This is not what I wanted, but she went outside, dug some holes, and oops, came back in, and was a big mess. So now I'm pulling out the, the um, handy-dandy pet dryer. And I love this pet dryer. I'm plugging it in and I'm saying, don't look at me because I do look like I'm about 8 million years old. Um, but, um, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, so this is the Petty Tech Handily 2 pet dryer that I showed you earlier. It's super lightweight. I'm just, look at me, I need my glasses. <laughs> Actually, don't look at me, I look like hell. So anyway, uh, we are back. I just had to do something um, with my recorder. I'm kind of, um, 
I'm all over the place this morning. But anyway, so this thing is so easy. This is called the Handley 2. It's so easy to turn on. Mally's never seen it before. This is her first viewing of it. And as you can she, see, she's kind of checking it out like, what is that? You know, she is a curious little pup. But the best part is, is it's on right now. It's drying. It's got, it's on low. And uh, she puts her nose right up in that. She smells everything. And um, the beautiful part of it is I can hold her, brush her, um, play with her while she's drying. It's super, um, super low noise. I'll put, I'll insert a video um, maybe at the end showing how low noise it is. But I, I'm doing a voiceover because my um, my voice trying to do this and do uh, film at the same time is a little weird. So, but um, right now I'm making her stay because I'm going to get her a high value treat so that I can have her just sit down. Um, I want to trim her bangs and I want to do all kinds of stuff while she's being dried by this little blow driver. But she wants, uh, she'll stay for a second. See, she's staying, but she won't stay for long. So um, you have to give her something to, to do and then she'll, she'll stay put. But as you'll see, so, yeah, but right now she wants to go back to her mat, which I, I usually say mat and it's down on the floor. But so she's like, why am I staying up on the counter, which she's not allowed on anyway. There she goes. Now, see, she wants to go, well, I'm going to go to my mat. But anyway, so I give her that, and then I put, and now you can move that um, hose around, and oh my gosh, you guys, it's wonderful. I'm trying to, like, brush her out here, but she's not dry enough. And so now I'm starting to get her dry. You, you know, this is my first time using it, too, and I've got to tell you, I think this thing is genius. I love it. I am, like... I'm so happy right now. It's not even funny. I don't even care what I look like. I don't, you know, you guys can look at me all you want. Right now, I am in heaven with this, um, this handily to pet dryer. I mean, look at, and it's on, you guys. It's blowing on her. It's so like, you're going to see this again. It's going to be in another video, and uh, hopefully, but right now, I just want to trim her bangs real quick. I'm trying to take advantage of the fact that she's being dried, and she's being quiet, and I can trim her bangs, you know, because she's, she, her she, her groomer isn't going to come for a couple more weeks. And she's probably going to go, what did you do? But I don't care because um, I used to cut hair. So <laughs> I should be able to trim a dog's bangs, right? But look at this. I am so happy right now because it's been a stressful morning for me. And this has taken the stress out of the bath time. And what I plan on doing is getting a tub out in my garage. My sister has a utility tub. We're going to stick that in there, and I'm going to put a little table next to it, and I'm going to keep this handily to pet dryer on there handy, and I'm just going to have a little grooming station for my dog. And this is a big incentive to actually do that, you guys. Um, I I can't wait to do that. It's just, we'll just, when she goes out in the backyard and she's digging and comes back in and she's a muddy mess, I won't even have to bring her through the house. I'll just take her through the garage to her um, grooming station and warm her up with this uh, pet dryer. So this is like a little warming thing too. This is the Pacific Northwest. It gets cold in the winter. So, and there's a timer on it. I think it goes up to like 220 minutes or something. I'll tell you, I'll get all that down um, it below. But um, it's got a flexible hose, definitely more relaxed. She's hands-free. Um, it reduces the drying time, which, yes, I can tell you, yes, because the last couple of times I've had to blow dry her, it was awful. I mean, awful. It was um, so stressful that I hate giving her a bath, and Lauren keeps saying, she needs a bath, Mom. She keeps a, needs a bath. And all I can think about is the time where it takes to blow dry her, and, the, and look at this. Let's just look at this for a minute. Let's just take this in. That's blow drying on her, you know? I mean... And she's just eating her little value. And I'm showing you what kind of brush that the groomer told me to buy. And uh, it's wonderful, you guys. I hope that you will. There is a code. It's called Make a Mess 10. And you can get some money off. And you see, you can see where it's gently blowing on her. And um, I think I turn it up later. I don't even know if I turned it up yet or not. But um, wow. Like, if you have a dog, I can't tell you how much. They told me to use this for a while before I make to tell them how I like it. Okay, now I think I'm turning it up. She didn't flinch, you guys. There's no burning. 
There's no burning of the dog. Like in a hairdryer, you can, if you leave a hairdryer on your dog, and people too, I know as a hairdresser, if you leave it in one spot too long, you're going to burn. But look at that. She is fine. They told me to wait for my review, but I can't wait. I am in love with this um, blow dryer, this pet dryer. I can't say enough. I am so blessed that they reached out to me. I want to say thank you so much. You know, uh, and if you know anybody with a pet, you guys, I am telling you, this is the way to go. And, um, you know, Mally's 11 pounds right now, but she's going to get to be 20, 25, so I'll always be able to do her on a tabletop. There's no reason why you can't set this on the ground for a big dog that you can't lift up and um, keep it running. She's going to choke on this thing pretty soon if I, I'm not watching. So, oh, I wanted to get the thing to show you. You gotta watch them with those bully sticks, especially the soft ones. But it's the Handley Pet Hair Grooming, and there's a link below again. And I am so impressed with this tool. So impressed that it's inspiring me to put a pet grooming station. I think I already said this in my garage. Okay, so now she's choking. She's gonna choke if I don't get that out of her mouth. So, yeah, let's get that out of her mouth, Dawn. I'm freaking myself out. I don't know if now is when I realize it or not. Do I realize it? Okay, maybe now she's not. But where did, I mean, that's a long piece of... No, I'm still not noticing. She, I think she's okay still, but... But yeah, I mean, I'm just... I feel so relaxed doing this. Of course, I wish I had some makeup on and I didn't look like I was 95 years old, but you know what? It just, it was what it was. She made such a mess outside this morning that... I had to, uh, I, it was a, it was emergency. It was an emergency. Yeah. Look how good she is. Look how good she is. I wanted to trim her little beard, but. Oh, so see, now I'm going to give her some treats that I can actually break up and make them smaller. So I don't have to worry about her. Sorry that I'm not in the, um, but look at that. The thing is just sitting there still doing its job and I'm all over the place. So I am, and it, she's drying so fast. I mean, this thing is pure genius, you guys. And I've, I've, I've never been happier opening a brand new product. And as you can see, it was so easy to um, put together. I mean, there was nothing to put together. You just kind of put the hose on and turn and plugged it in. Boom. Look at her. She's almost dry. Of course, I just was focusing on the back, but um, now I can focus on her legs and stuff. But look at that. Look how easy. So simple. Anyway, I can't say enough about this product, you guys. So, yeah. I'm still brushing her feet, I think. Okay, I'm going to stop right here and see if I can show you a little better picture of her when she's done. Okay, there she is. Happy puppy. She's so happy. Oh my gosh, cute. So before you go, I want to tell you that they said when you turn it off, it doesn't go all the way off all the way. So I'm going to push stop. Oh, that's the timer. Yes, and see, the lights are all off when you push stop, but it's continuing to go because she said that it needs to, um, there you go, and now it stopped. It needs to cool down a little bit. So, wow, you guys, this thing is great. And let's see, can you just, you can re, you know, just do that with the hose. I would leave it in here personally instead of put it, pulling it in and blowing it out just because of the stress. I think it'd be fine, I don't know. But this is how I'm gonna leave it just so um, it's compact. I love it. I love it. Thank you again so much, Nancy from Petty Tech. I love it. I love it. The uh, um, the link is down below in the description box. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.